quote, algorithms are sequences of instructions that describe how to complete a specific task. Students create algorithms that reflect simple life tasks inside and outside the classroom. For example, students could create algorithms to represent daily routines for getting ready for school, transitioning through center rotations, eating lunch, and putting away art materials. Students could then write a narrative sequence of events. Alternatively, students could create a game or dance with a specific set of movements to reach an intentional goal or objective. Additionally, students could create a map of their neighborhood and give step-by-step -step directions of how to get to school." End quote. All right, so here's the written feedback that I gave on this particular one. Quote, I think the map example is the best of the examples provided. However, I would encourage creating an example where kids actually create an algorithm with code rather than directions. I understand that CT researchers and practitioners are trying to bring CS discourse into other subject areas in everyday life, but I respectfully disagree that there is value added when we swap labels for concepts without consideration of context. For example, wouldn't we refer to step-by-step -step processes as directions for navigating an environment and a recipe for cooking pasta rather than an algorithm? I understand that semantically they can generally mean the same thing depending on the situated use. However, the difference between social, i.e. vernacular, and specialized, i.e. math, cooking, navigating, and CS, discourses they draw from are very different. Just because we can call something the same thing, it doesn't mean we should in all cases. For example, if we flip the CT narrative and started calling lines of code recipes or scores, if borrowing from Western European classical music discourse, I would argue this is using a label out of its proper context. I agree that kindergartners can follow a sequence of step-by-step -step instructions or processes throughout their day, However, I see algorithm as having a more specialized discursive use than the vernacular use of directions. For example, I might say an algorithm is like directions, which is like a recipe, but they are utilized in different contexts to mean similar but slightly different things. Step-by-step -step set of instructions for preparing food, which is different than directions being step-by-step -step set of instructions for navigating an environment, which is different than algorithms being step-by-step -step lines of code for a computer processor to execute which is different than an algorithm being a step-by-step -step sequence of mathematical symbols and numbers to represent an object in motion, end quote. Okay, so that was probably more feedback than they wanted, and they probably saw it and ignored it. <laughs> However, I wanted to share that with you to just kind of share some of my thoughts around computational thinking and how we really do need to consider the words that we are using and just kind of arbitrarily labeling everything that resembles computer science concepts as a computer science concept, is problematic. But that's just my thought. This excerpt of the CSK8 podcast is from episode number 68, which is titled Remaining Trouble Spots with Computational Thinking. 